Hi there folks, you watching the Black Powder Shooter 44 channel. Today I'm going to show you how I make a Black Powder Revolver holster. Now whether you're trying to make a large holster like this one I have here for my 1858 Remington Buffalo gun, or a small one like the one I have here for my Remington Pocket Revolver, the method I will show you today will work. So stay tuned and we're going to get to it. Hi there folks, real quickly before we get off the rest of the video, I'm going to show you these custom wood presentation cases made by yours truly to display your black powder revolver. Each box comes complete with several compartments put in several different accessories such as powder flasks, spare cylinders, cap tins, and whatever else you see fit to put in there. The interior of each box is felt lined to safely hold your revolver. I offer several different sizes of standard box which will fit your full length cap and ball revolver such as an 1850 Remington or 1851 Navy. A smaller box which will fit a Remington pocket revolver or a small pistol like that. A larger Colt Walker box which will fit a Colt Walker revolver. And an even larger box which will fit an 1851 Navy butt line special revolver or an 1858 Buffalo gun. So get one of your own, you can find them for sale on my eBay store and I have that link down below in this video's description. Go check that out when you have the chance. Now, let's get on with the rest of the show. So in order to make holsters, you're gonna need a couple things. You're gonna need a box cutter. Um, I'll pick this up for Harbor Freight, two bucks. Some extra blades, another two bucks. Uh, this box, I keep a whole bunch of stuff. You're gonna need some cotton swabs. Cotton balls, rather. For applying dye. And some of these spring uh, clamps. Pick up three or four of these. You can even use some of these small ones. Pick up about four of those, depending on the size of your holster. Contact cement. This stuff goes pretty far. Um, you're gonna need that and your dye. And this is just some cheap dye that I've had for a while. It does the job pretty well. You're also gonna need this Tandy leather. You know, I don't know what this tool is called. It's a groover. It's an adjustable groover. You're going to need one of these. And your thread. You can pick this up at your local craft store. It's where I get it. How much is it? Four bucks. Leather snip is optional. Or you can just use the box cutter. Um, an awl. Pick this up on Amazon.com. Gonna need one of those. This is a three millimeter leather awl. And then a three pronged craft punch. This is ten ninety nine at the local craft store. All this stuff probably be picked up on Amazon. But this is uh definitely need this. I really like it. Here's some tandy leather. Stitching needles. There we go. You're also going to need leather. This is a 12 by 24 piece that I got on Amazon.com as well. It's about 22 bucks. That'll make you uh, probably two or three regular size holsters. And if you're making small ones, make a few more than that. So you could buy a bigger piece elsewhere, but if you just want a smaller piece to start off with, this is what I would recommend getting. Okay, so the first thing we need to do in order to make a holster is to make a template off paper. And this is poster board. You get Walmart for 33 cents for a big sheet of it. I'm going to be making a holster for an 858 Remington today. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started. What I need to do is fold the paper over and get a creased edge. So, we're going to do that. This one here I, I did previously and it's a little too small. So, I'm going to myself a little extra room. Try to do it evenly. So we got our edge here. What I'm going to do now is put the revolver on the edge. Make sure it's right down the middle. Make sure the front sight is right on the crease. And make sure the hammer is on the crease. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fold the revolver over just like that over the line and I'm going to take our compass and I've set it about for about two inches roughly and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the side of the gun I'm 
and just trace around it. Okay, so we want a bit of the trigger guard sticking out of this holster, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a line from about here down. And now you could kind of guess, I'm going to go ahead, go ahead and move the gun, kind of guess where you need to go from here, like this. Right to the edge. What I'm going to do now is take a box cutter and go along the our uh, marked line and just cut it out. So we got one side cut out. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to flip this paper over on the crease and I'm going to trace this out on the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and trace this out now. Here we go, we got the other side traced out, and we're going to go ahead and cut that now. Okay, so I made my uh, template a little too big. So what you want to do after you make the template is take the gun that you're going to be putting in it, put it in, make any adjustments they need to make at this point in the process, and give myself enough room for stitching, but not too much room, so it's just too bulky. And uh, this looks pretty good. So, so we got our template here that's finished. And you want to uh, mark your belt loop side because you don't want to put the belt loop on the wrong side. <laughs> so, we're going to trace this out on the leather now, pretty simple. You just put on the leather, take a pencil or a pen, and just mark around it. That's what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to go all the way around our template here. So we got the template traced out. What I'm going to do now is just cut around it. Now you can leave extra room so that you could cut it out further later, you know, cut a couple inches out. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut along the line. Just going to go for it. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is just cut along that line of our box cutter. You can use a leather snip, you know, whatever you want to use. All right, our next step is to make a belt, uh, belt loop. And here's the belt I'm going to be using with it. So I traced it out on the leather. I'm going to go ahead and cut it out now with the box cutter. Okay, so we got our belt loop cut out. Just want to make sure it fits around the belt you're going to use. Leave a little extra room to stitch on. And that's pretty much good. And I got the rough form of the holster here. Just see what it would look like. So I'm going to take the pistol out. Now we're just going to dye everything. So I'm going to take these clips off real quick. Alright, so we're going to get everything dyed up. Soak the cotton ball on the dye. And just go over our holster here. I want to make sure to hit the edges as well. Okay, so I got everything dyed up, but what I neglected to do was uh, use our tracing tool and uh, going around this. So what this does, it makes a line, a guide for when we're stitching later. And I should have done this before I dyed the holster, but I'll just touch it up after I go through. As you just go to the side of the holster and you just go around, very simple. it and I just go around one side I don't go around both sides let's go around one side and I'll do the job okay so while I'm waiting for everything to dry is pretty much all we could do for now but what I'm gonna do next is glue our belt loop together so I'm gonna get our contact cement also I'm gonna get the belt what I'm gonna do open this up all right what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna See how much room I need. I want to leave about uh, about a belt, the belt's width of room out here, so I could have something to sew on. And I probably should have used gloves when I put the dye on, but whatever. 
All I'm going to do now is put some of that contact cement on the leather belt loop here. I'm just going to press it together when I'm done. Okay, now I'm simply just going to press these two ends together and put a clamp on the end. Alright, that's pretty much it. I'm going to let this set up for a while and we'll be back later on to continue working on this.